this exhibition, TG Transitions in Kiln Glass, is a traveling exhibition created by Bullseye Projects as a result of a juried competition. So this show has several different award winners in different categories such as design, architecture, and academic awards. So you'll see a variety of works made from kiln glass, which is slightly different from blown glass or stained glass. So many artists are creating their own processes and exploring different ways of making with this uh, newer medium. Rather than um, glass being heated in a furnace and the blowpipe being used to create different forms, this can be sheet glass or fragments of glass called frit that can be warmed to a slightly lower temperature than the furnace and kind of melted together. So that piece is inspired by the Maori people that um, the artist Tehrongo Kirkwood um, is from the ancestry of. So this is modeled after a style of cloak that would typically be made with feathers. And rather than use feathers, the artist has created these tiles through a, a slumping process where that uses gravity and time to shape the glass rather than physically manipulating each individual piece. And much like the traditional cloaks, Tehrongo Kirkwood is using the flax fiber to weave everything together, kind of like how pearls would be strung on a necklace. So each individual tile is hand tied in a traditional way. The signature tree is a really interesting piece by Andy Gersh. He was going through old legal documents from his family and found a bunch of signatures. And he copied the signatures and kind of blew them up using the frit, which is little fragments of glass. So sprinkling those in the same shape as the template of the signature, he was then able to melt them in the kiln and form these really delicate and whimsical um, individual objects. This piece by Ana Maria Nava is called Envuelveme Don Tus Alas. So it means wrap me with your wings. So again, using the frit as well as mica, which is like a crushed stone often used in cosmetic glitter. Um, she's created this really interesting and dynamic piece that is so many individual units, kind of like feathers on wings, but they have this more amoebic, free form shape that really makes the piece stand out. People should come see this show because this is our first glass show in maybe 20 years. So it's a really exciting treat to have. We also have a really fun educational space where you can kind of peer into the mind of some of the kiln glass makers and imagine what it's like to go through step by step on a process that I think is unfamiliar to most.